Larry Anglisano reporting for Aviation Consumer here at Sun and Fun 2024 in Florida with Dr. James Reynolds. And uh, you know, Doc, one thing you don't see a lot in aviation is oxygen generators made for airplanes. And uh, that's exactly what Aether has brought to the show this year. And uh, Doc's going to give us an overview. Funny you mentioned people have been asking for it for a while. Let's take a look. Uh, this is the Aether booth. We've been innovators in oxygen delivery, uh, monitoring, carbon monoxide detection. Uh, we have onboard ship power, a lot of different things. But we brought something new to market. This is the first to market. Uh, this is the first show that it's being shown at. This is actually an oxygen generator or an oxygen maker or an oxygen concentrator. People use the different terms. And it's what you think it is. It's what it looks like. It is optimized for aviation, very much like you would have for medical use for somebody who has lung disease, for example. Uh, although none of those have been optimized for uh, general aviation use before, and we, and we have now done that. So this is already uh, tested and approved. Um, and there's a different version slightly for certificated versus experimental. We could talk about those details if you want. But you can use it on any plane, pressurized or unpressurized, part 23. And what it does is it takes ambient air, it takes whatever you are breathing in the cabin, and it concentrates, and I'm going to turn it on so you can see, it's about a one minute startup period where, where it got things going, and this is a test unit over here if you want to look at that. It takes the ambient air and it filters it through columns of material, just like the medical ones do, and it filters out the nitrogen, so what comes out is a higher concentration of oxygen, starting at 21%, which is uh, ambient air, you can see it start to rise, and so this will get up to 90, 93, 95 plus percent oxygen. So effectively breathing pure oxygen and it will support uh, one a, a flow rate enough to support one person up to an 18,000 foot cabin altitude or two people up to 15,000 breathing continuously um, and it works and it works very well and it's, it's a solid product it weighs about seven pounds give or take so it's not that much of a weight uh, burden it's very simple operation it's a very simple installation and there's really nothing to do. You don't have to fill your oxygen tank anymore. All you have to do is bring some nasal cannulas, and, you know, like, which you probably already have. Um, now, we, we do have a service requirement, uh, at least for now. It's a once every two years or 2,000 hours of use. You send it back to us. We replace the internal materials. We replace some solenoids and capacitors. Send it back to you basically in new condition. It's kind of a, it's kind of like a refurb every two years. Um, and here you go. We're we're without even trying. I'm at I'm at, I just put a random flow rate. We're at 95 plus percent uh, of output oxygen just from you know uh, a few amps of, of current draw. That's that's what it costs you. So uh, just a bit about the difference between uh, using the turbo oxygen maker in an experimental versus a certificated airplane. So for, uh, let's talk experimental first. For experimental, you can mount it literally anywhere you want. This is a, just a quick view of the, the mounting that we're using at this point, kind of a T-mount. You, you put it where you want. It ends up having uh, kind of a simple thumb screw mechanism that you can do by hand to take the unit in and out if you need to. Um, but it is, it is a nice hard mount and the, uh, this power button you see on top is what you would mount on your panel somewhere in, in your field of view and the unit would draw its power from ship's power just like anything else you might install. The difference in the certificated world is the, the NORSI approval that we have, the non required safety enhancing equipment, NORSI, all right, which is what most of our products are, are approved under. Our NORSI approval is actually for the power supply in this case. So we have a, a dedicated power supply. It is a, it's either for 12 or 24 volts. It delivers obviously the current that this unit needs, so up to 80 watts. And the unit itself would come with a power supply, a power cord that will plug into that supply, and, a, and a, the same button but on a different uh, cable. So you would, the point about all this is that for a certificate airplane, the whole unit itself is not to be hard mounted under a panel or, you know, hard, wi hard wired to the ship itself. It's supposed to be easily removable, so you can secure it with Velcro straps, you can put it in seat belts, you can put it in the baggage part, you can put it wherever you want, but it needs to be technically portable and easily removable. That's, that's the FAA requirement for this. 
they, they are otherwise you know identical units and they work the same way uh, but it's all perfectly legal and approved and uh, extremely safe there's nothing inherently unsafe about this unit at all it's producing uh, one liter per minute of, of you know medical grade oxygen is what it's doing uh, price point is uh, 5355 uh, for the unit itself, we recommend that you get one of these uh, testing units. You can use it, it's optional, but we recommend that you do get one. I believe this is going for $3.95 if I remember correctly. And this can be part of your pre-flight. If you know you're flying high, you plug it in and test it and make sure that it, it's doing what you want it to do. This, yeah, this is the um, adjustable flow rate, right? So you set your, we have a, ta a table for you, it's really quite easy. You set your flow rate in liters per minute based on the altitude you plan to fly at. So, for example, if you're going to fly at 15,000 feet, you make the bottom of that ball right about where it is at about 1.5 liters per minute. If you're going up to 18,000, you tweak it to about a 1.8 setting. And you can fine tune this. You can either do it all on the ground or you can do it in flight if, if you set yourself up where, where it's accessible to you. Um, and the, the point of that is to maximize the concentration of the oxygen itself uh, relative to the flow rate. There's some interesting and fun math involved. You don't really have to worry about any of that. Round numbers about a liter to a liter and a half per minute, maybe 1.8, and you're going to be good at the altitudes where this is designed to be used. If you want to know anything else about this or any of the other products, uh, ithraaviation.com. Uh, you can just Google up ithra, A-I-T-H-R-E, and that'll get you there.